What's up guys, Dylan here doing my fourth place um, stage championship online deck profile. I'm doing it in person because I bought these cards, I might as well show them off. Um, this deck was a ton of fun to play for the tournament, but in hindsight, there this deck probably wasn't the smartest choice. Um, with everyone playing Eldritch Synchro, this deck loses very hard to VFD because you don't play hand trap, many hand traps. And any like traps to actually survive through a VFD. So that was a downside for sure. Um, but I'm getting into the deck profile now and we're gonna talk about it. Sorry, I think I can hear like something linking in the house. It's kind of distracting me. Anyway, the deck profile. So it's just three an emancipator researcher, three seeker, uh, three analyzer, just the nine. Tuna hand, uh, tuna animantiators, animancipators, best cards in the deck. Uh, three block dragon. I'm gonna play as many copies of block dragon. I was initially on one to two, and then the more I kept playing the deck, I'm like, why the hell do I not want block dragon in my hand? This card's stupid powerful. Uh, so we played three, and every time I seen it, it was fantastic. Uh, three doki doki. Uh, three Cork and Mirror Guardian. I love this card so, so, so much. Um, I wish I could play like 10 of it. <laughs> um, one Giganis. I, I kind of want to play two because you can make the Dweller off the Block Dragon search. Can't do that currently. Um, and Giganis is good because you can actually just ram it and blow back row up. Like, it's, it's a good card. And drawing it's not too bad because if they... Like needle fiber, you like you go for the needle fiber line and then stop it. You can bring this guy out, and if you have access to another level four, it's really good. Um, this is a few applications where the second gigantes will work. If I had access to a gigantes in hand, so having it hard drawn, it would help. Or having the second one would let me make dweller in some situations that dweller would have been just absolutely nuts. So, I think going forward, I'm going to try two again. I was trying two for a while, but then I went back to one. I kept I keep flip, uh, I keep flip flopping on this. So, um, one Weeping Idol. So, Weeping Idol is a level two rock duck that summons itself to the board by banishing a tuner. Has no like summoning restrictions, so you can hit it off the Animatia effects. Um, this card is incredible, in my opinion. It's just another guy you can put to the board. The main application why this isn't just not a third Gigante is, is if you need to make the um, rap type with a martial metal marching, you can summon this and still get your level 8 play. Uh, for people that don't know, martial metal marcher turns the synchro monster into a tuner. So that's very important to keep in mind um, when you play against that combo. And yeah, otherwise, we can. I was alright. In one of my games, I forgot that it was dark and I searched it and I was one earth off of uh, Block Dragon. So, yay for misplays. <coughs> uh, three, Tony Spirit Adhara. Um, this card's obviously insane. Combos really well with Unexpected Die. Um, yeah, I've always loved this card, to be honest. Three, my Dolce Pudding, Pudding Sasaur. Obviously, this card's incredible. It's been. Yeah. I'm not going to talk about it. <laughs> I don't know why I paused. Uh, one on O line for the combos, and then my targets for Unexpected Die were just one Beta the Magnet Warrior. Uh, it's the strongest attack rock monster, and it's my childhood copy, so I get to look at it. The Dolores of the Roses one. Look at that. Sick. Sick cunt. Sick cunt. And then just one Angel Trumpeter. It's the only level 4 Earth Tuner monster, which is perfect stats because it helps you make Galliant Galliant. Gra Galleon, Granite, and Needle Fiber, and it's a banished target uh, for Block Dragon. So yeah, that's it for the monsters. Um, heavy monster count, it is a combo deck. Uh, three Unexpected Die, this card is just, this card's amazing. Um, I'm excited to see if moving forward this card starts to see more and more play with um, Needle Fiber existing, because there's a lot of vanilla tuners, I believe. Um, that would just be good to summon off of this. And um, the Tenny guy also interacts with this card really well. So it'll be interesting how this card sees more play. Because I was playing it in Dragon Link. And I thought this card was in 
stupidly broken in there as well. Um, three and emancipated sign. So going into the tournament, I thought this thought that Eldrick Synchro deck would still be doing Borload Herald, but more people were like, nah, just make VFD. And I regret playing this card. This card, in theory, is really good because it is a monster reborn, but you, with Eldrick Synchro being the most represented deck, you just need hand traps more so than extenders. Um, this is only good when you're playing against like the mirror match, for example, being able to just reborn your guy and then keep playing. Because the Eldrick, uh, the Adam Mount deck can just play through so much crap uh, naturally. You probably don't actually need this in hindsight, but hey, hindsight's 2020. Uh, three Dark Ruler No More. It's the same as Adam Mount Signs. So I thought there was just going to be the more of the mirror match and just these big combo decks, and this was just going to be more necessary than. Um, hand traps, but this is definitely straight out cutting it back to the sideboard. Um, <clears throat> Monster Reborn. This card's incredible, obviously. It's the same theory as Animants of Paper Signs, except you can take their monsters and Foolish because you want to play four copies of Block Dragon. Um, and yeah, that was the main deck. 40 cards exactly. I don't go over that limit. Um, and then side deck. It's just the one, Pinkertops. Card's incredible. Uh, three. Sphere mode. The one, Dragon Buster Destruction Sword. I opted to board this because I thought people would, people are obviously boarding Dark Roller no more into this deck. So I wanted this for Games 2 and 3 because it's the only, this deck just loses to Dark Roller no more pretty hard. Um, outside of this, and Block Dragon. And so I thought, you know, give myself like a chance against Dark Ruler no more. I didn't get Dark Ruler no more when I had this, but in my head, like, Dark Ruler no more, this means I have to have an out to the Dragon Buster. And a lot of decks can't Dark Ruler no more and then deal with this as well without having, like, Cosmic Cyclone. So, it in theory, it still held up very well. Um, three Nibiru. Uh, three Lightning Storm. I thought this card was a little underwhelming. I think I'd rather just Cosmic Cyclone because the Eldrick Synchro deck only sets one to two back row. Like, they don't extend the whole hand because of the fear of Lightning Storm. And I don't think you need Lightning Storm um, if the fear of it already exists. And obviously, they've got VFD anyway. So, Lightning Storm, you know, popping their back row is probably not going to matter when you can have the Cyclone for the games where... You can just hit a back row, like hit something. Like I think this card is a little bit underwhelming um, in my head. Uh, three infinite impermanence. I wish I made this. Got VFD game one so many times. <laughs> um, the card's incredible, obviously. Then one red reboot. Um, it's better than lightning storm because it's trainable. Um, and you can probably kill them through red reboot. Probably not this version of the deck because I fucked the extra deck. And extra deck, one Marshall Metal Marcher for the combo, one Herald because it's ridiculous, one Rat Tight for combos. This card's actually very underrated against certain decks. So you can put this up against, um, what's that deck? The Eldritch Synchro deck. And then they can't do their Jet Synchro line with this on the board. Um,. So that's pretty cool. Uh, Borrowload Savage Dragon. This says negation. And then this guy just lets you go for wins because you just bounce everything and then kill them. And it's just another negation card going for this. Um, we played Dweller. And we played Gallian Granite for the two exceeds. Um, I never made this, but it's there because you can make it quite easily. And it's very good against some matchups. There's matchups where. Um, you just want to make this like in grind games, or if you've used your herald and then Galleon Granite. Um, it's just a hand trap magnet. This card, especially there's so many hand traps in the format that Galleon Granite's effect is probably not resolving. But there will be situations where you can make this enforce a hand trap. Um, so so it is good for that one reason. And if it doesn't get hand trapped, you can just add the card you wanted to add, and you just win anyway. The next deck is just one length spider. Um, clear the token. Helps make minion carry all that crap. Uh, link cross. 
Hard as stupid. IP Mascarena. Union Carrier. Um, Cerberus, this is a tech option because I thought there was more Herald Burrow Fields and you need to clear the Burrow Load Savage and this deck can kind of struggle with dealing with a big Burrow Load Savage. Um, so just being able to Cerberus pop it was really nice um, because you Cerberus pop it and then Link Cross. So that was always cool. Uh, the card that makes this format fucking terrible. Please ban it. Um, Unicorn cards for the IP and it's just good generic removal and then last card was Appalooza I did not make this once um there was a lot of times where I just don't think I need the negations from the Appalooza like I'd rather just play like an access code talk or a borrow load savage to just win games quicker but in hindsight this deck is got a few changes but yeah that was my fourth place deck I hope you enjoyed and this is Dylan signing out peace